Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You'll have to forgive my voice. Today I started with this horrible sore throat and uh, I think I'm getting a cold, but today is my two month update video on my breast augmentation and full body lipo. So I missed doing the one month update. I really didn't wanna miss doing the two month update. And so regardless of my voice, I thought I would get this filmed tonight and put out there for you guys to see. So. Um, yes, today I am technically two months and one day since my surgery and I feel 100% normal pretty much, 99.99% normal I guess. Um, first I'll talk about the boobs and then I'll talk about the liposuction. So if you're more interested in the boobs then you can follow the front part of the video and if you're more interested in the lipo then you can fast forward a little bit and go just to the liposuction part of it. So for the breasts, I had, um, and some of this is going to be repeated information if you've watched my other videos, but I had 500 cc of textured silicone round implants under the muscle. And I'm really happy with the size that I went. I'm really happy with the recovery. Everything is, has been really, really good with that. Today, I'm still wearing uh, a sports bra, which I'll show you in a second. And my incisions were underneath the breast because I also had a lift. So in terms of healing, I think when I did my last update, I was about two weeks post-op and what I was saying was is that sometimes I felt pretty good, but sometimes if I used my arms a lot, even if I was typing at my computer, my muscles would hurt, um, which was completely normal. None of that happens anymore. I have a full, complete range of motion. I can lift my arms up and down and everything and, and there's no pain there anymore. Um, another big difference was right around the one month post-op um, mark, we went on a trip and so I wasn't wearing my full body undergarment anymore for liposuction, which was good, but my boobs were still a little bit sore at that point. So I just wanted to put that in there because I didn't do a one month update, that it was still a little bit sore, but just around the one month time was finally when I was able to lay on my side because I had been sleeping on my back and I'm not a back sleeper. So really for recovery for me for the implants, one of the hardest parts for me was the sleeping because for the first month I had to sleep on my back which was really uncomfortable. Um, but after about a month I was able to start slowly kind of putting more pressure on the sides and it didn't hurt and I could lay on my side. Now, just recently, about a week ago, I had been able to lie on my stomach, which is really great because I love to sleep on my stomach. Um, you do position yourself a little bit different. I try to tend to kind of put a pillow um, underneath a little bit so they're not like completely smushed firm into the mattress, if that makes any sense. Um, so I think once you get implants, you do kind of tend to position yourself a little bit differently in bed and use your pillows differently, but it's totally doable and it's totally comfortable now. So sleep is not an issue at all at the two month mark. Um, nothing is, is hurting anymore. Uh, they've completely dropped. They've, they were, you know, up here when I first had them done, they've dropped now nicely. Um, you know, I have cleavage as you can see, and I'm not wearing a push-up bra. I'm just wearing the most basic, boring, probably the, the, like the least flattering sports bra underneath this that you can get. Um, they're not hard anymore. They're soft and, you know, it doesn't hurt to, to move them around or anything anymore. So that's, that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you, I'll just kind of lift up my top here and show you, I'll show you the incision um, anyway, so you can see how that's healing. It's healing really nicely as well. Okay, so I am just wearing a very basic uh, sports bra. I still have a compression undergarment on today, which I will talk about a little bit more when I go into the liposuction part of the video. But, you know, this is, uh, the sports bras that I've kind of been living in for the past month, once I got out of my post-surgical uh, that had the strap here, then he told me I could wear just regular sports bras that didn't have um, underwire. So let me see if I can adjust this a little bit and show you the scar. So I have marks here from the bra. This isn't anything to do with the surgery and the undergarment, but there is the incision there. So you can still see it, it's a little red, but it doesn't hurt. It doesn't even hurt to touch it or to have anything rubbing on it um, at all. So he kind of went through my tattoo there, but 
anyways so yeah the scars compared to the last time I showed you guys were are a lot better they're healing a lot nicer um, and I was supposed to pick up a cream today to put on them to help heal the scar which I didn't um, so I'm gonna pick that up next week for my plastic surgeon because I forgot to pick it up today and then I can tell you what the name of that is and what I'm putting on it just for the scarring so there isn't really a big scar not that I think it's gonna be that noticeable anyways so I'm happy with them right now I'm really really happy with how these have turned out. So there's not much else to say really about the boobs. If you're thinking about getting them done, if you have specific questions for me, leave them in the comments below. I answer every single one of them, I promise. Um, you know, if you're in Canada or the United States and you're thinking about coming to Mexico to get them done, I live in Mexico, so obviously I had them done in Mexico. I had them done in Guadalajara. Um, my plastic surgeon was amazing, 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 and he's been giving me really great follow-up care, and you know, I really couldn't recommend a better surgeon. So I will link all of his, or put all of his details in the description box below so that if that's something that you're interested in doing, um, I know it's a lot more expensive to have them done in Canada or the United States. Um, and he's really, really good at boobs. It's like his thing. Everybody goes to his doctor for boobs um, and liposuction. He does a really great job. But, you know, specifics, it's just I'm a lot, a lot better than I was. When you first get them done, you go through the, the fact that they're up really high and that they're hard and that you can't sleep comfortable. And then with your incision healing. Um, but really after about a month, it really all starts to get better and better and better. And now at the two-month um, point, I feel good i'm going to go next week and get measured i still have no idea what size i am i believe i'm a 36d only because i did purchase a bra that was not a sports bra it was a regular bra but it didn't have underwire and that was just to go on my trip and i purchased that in a 36d just on a guess and it fit but i'm going to go and actually get measured and start wearing regular bras again the biggest bonus i think though is that they actually look good without a bra on now you know and and so i'm so pleased about that after four kids and the way they were before um you know they're nice and perky and round and i love them so i'm really really glad that i did it and i hope i'm not leaving anything out in terms of the recovery i really can't think of anything else to say about the boobs other than just you know you give it time it starts to healing the healing is really not that bad at all um, in terms of discomfort, it's you like the first couple days of your surgery is when you're the most uncomfortable and then every single day it can improves like so much. Um, and then at the like the two week point, I would say I was at 80% better and at the one month point, 90% better and I almost feel like I'm 99.9% .9 better now in terms of that. Okay, so moving into the liposuction. So I had full body liposuction. I was very, 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 very heavy when I went into my plastic surgeon, so I needed large volume full body liposuction. So I think depending on how much fat you're having removed, where you're having it removed from, um, if it was really hard and settled fat or if it's new fat, I mean, all of those things are going to come into effect of the results of your liposuction. Like I said, I'm about two months in one day post-op. When I first had it done, I walked out of the hospital, I swear, bigger than when I walked in, I was so swollen. So swelling is a normal thing. You're going to have swelling when you get liposuction. You really have to keep that in mind. Um, and little by little, the swelling goes down. Today, the doctor uh, looked at me and he was kind of, you know, poking and prodding at the parts that he had done liposuction on. And he says that I still am swollen. Now, when I got it done, he told me that I would start to see results after about a month and that I would have more of an idea of my final result after three months. And I definitely did start seeing results um, even before the one month mark, I started seeing some definite um, noticeable changes in my body. And now I would say that I see, you know, a tremendous amount of difference. I'm still not completely satisfied with where my body is at right now um, because I was so heavy when I went in and, you know, when, section of liposuction can only do so much but it wasn't so much just that he took the fat out of good spots you know spots where i really needed the fat taken out of but it's he shaped as well and so it made a really big difference so i had liposuction in my arms now my arms still look you know like they have this like 
wing, bingo wing, whatever you call this fatty part here, but it is like half the size it was when I went in. My arms are still a little bit tender to the touch, um, and that's because he says they're still swollen. So there's that. Uh, then I also had, and I'll stand up to show you, I had liposuction all in, in this area and in my abdomen. Now this area is where I notice it the most. I really noticed that he shaped in here and he really gave me a nice waist. And again, in here, I can still feel pockets of, of swelling. Sorry, I'll get the shakiness, I'll move the camera down. So I'm just wearing a, a skirt today. So. You know, it's kind of, this is just like a swimsuit, but it is a compression uh, garment and I usually wear it in the evenings because I try to sleep in it. Even though I don't have to wear it all the time anymore, I just feel like it gives me extra support and it's gonna give me better results because I am still swollen. But if you had seen me before, you would know that this is a tremendous difference. Um, and I just have a much, a much nicer shape now, um, more of that hourglass shape and, you know, a ton of fat has obviously been removed from this part of my body. So I'm really happy about that. The part where I feel he could have gone more, or not that he could have, because I mean, there's only so much you can legally remove and do, but the part that I'm least satisfied with, I guess I would say at this two month mark, is my legs. And I talked to my doctor about that again today. And he was telling me that when you do liposuction in the legs, if you take out too much fat too quickly, your skin can become very loose and very wrinkly, and that doesn't give a really nice result either. So, um, and again, he said I was still swollen, so I'm still going down and I haven't been able to see the full results. Now, I don't have a terrific before and after photo. I do have one that I took that shows my boobs in a bra and, and my stomach area. And I'm definitely gonna post that um, on my three month post-op mark along with whatever I look like at three months, so you'll see that. I'm also going to ask my surgeon if he can send me my before photos because he obviously took full body before photos. And if there's some way that I can kind of edit out those parts so that I could be able to show them on YouTube and then take um, a full body picture at three months, that's what I would like to do for you guys so you guys can really see. But generally, two months later, I would say I'm about definitely one size and almost two sizes smaller in my clothes so a lot of like my summer maxi dresses and stuff don't fit they just hang on me i'm able to buy shirts smaller skirts smaller pants smaller so i mean that is a really nice feeling it's really good in terms of the pain from the liposuction there's no pain the liposuction from beginning was not very painful to me um, and if you go back and watch my other videos, what I might do in this video is put in the description box the other links to my uh, videos because I did like the day of, one day post off, two day post off, and then I think I did a one week and a two week, and now I'm doing this one. So you can kind of see the progression. Um, and even my face seems to be more um, slender even though I didn't have liposuction in my face. Everything is kind of compressing and going to where it's supposed to be and the scars have healed up really nicely. My liposuction scars, they're really, really, really tiny um, and they're healing up really well. And so the only thing is, is that some parts of my body are still a little bit tender. If, if somebody like were to grab my arm and squeeze it hard, it would be like almost like I had a light bruise, um, but that's it. So about three weeks ago, three and a half weeks ago when I was at the doctor's office, he gave me the go ahead to start exercising again. And so since then I've been exercising um, and my goal is to exercise five days a week, uh, 60 minutes. I'm going for jogs um, and I started at walking and then incorporated like a walking and jog mixture. And so that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm trying to do that at least five nights a week and I've been pretty successful doing that. I'm wearing my Fitbit Blaze every day instead of a watch. I really love this. I think that it's really helping me stay focused on how many steps I'm doing, making sure that I'm getting in my 60 minutes of cardio every single day, um, and all of that is helping. So it's it's good that I can pretty much do anything. I would say that I, like I'm 99.9% .9 back to normal at the two month mark um, for the liposuction as well. The only thing is, is that the doctor did tell me that I still was a bit swollen, so that's great. If I'm gonna get even smaller, if there's, there's still swelling to go down, 
then I'm super, super, super stoked about that. I'm happy. Um, but really for liposuction, the pain was very, very minimal. Um, that was like the least painful of the two procedures that I had done and neither one were atrocious. I should also mention that I'm a big wimp, so if I can go through the liposuction, I think anybody can go through the liposuction. Before I had it done, I heard that, um, you know, it's very common to have liposuction, liposuction in your abdomen, but I heard that liposuction in your legs was really painful, but it actually, uh, I didn't find it to be that painful at all. When I came home, it was just the same thing. You know, every day you got much better and much better and it's just the swelling that has to go down and wearing the compression garment is kind of a pain in the butt if you get liposuction in the legs and in the arms like I did because I was pretty much in a full like scuba suit for a month. Um, but then after that, you don't have to wear it anymore and you just really have to watch your diet and exercise um, so that you don't have to go back and get liposuction done somewhere else uh, or you know, so that you get the best results. You don't wanna spend all that money and go through all that time just to get out of the hospital and, and continue with bad eating habits or not exercising. So pretty much I'm just trying to follow um, everything that the doctor has recommended that I do. I don't have to do um, any kind of massages anymore either. My liposuction um, did come with, the doctor that I went to, he included 10 ultrasound massages after, and that was just, uh, you know, like, to move everything around. And sometimes after liposuction, you get little hard bumps under the areas where they lipo, and those massages help that. And I did those for the 10 days. Um, and the massaging of the boobs I did, you know, he told me to massage them, to move them around as much as I could. And I did that pretty much every time I had a shower. I don't need to do any of that anymore. So yeah, now it's just basically waiting for the rest of my swelling to go down and keeping up with good exercise and eating habits. Now, on that note, because I was so large when I went in and I'm not 100% satisfied with it where I am at right now, although my results have been fantastic, if you really look at, you know, if I look at pictures, even if I look at pictures going through my Instagram, I look at pictures of two months ago, three months ago, and now I'm just like, you know, I'm so shocked at, at how, um, how fantastic my results have been. I'm still not where I want to be. So after speaking with the surgeon again today, um, I told him, I first went in and I said, okay, you know what? I want more liposuction. And of course his first response is, well, we kind of need to see how this liposuction finishes before we move on to your next one. So you're, you know, it's a little early, but I wanted to get it done in September, um, near the end of September when I'll be closer to like almost five months, five months post-op. Four, I think I'll be four, four months and three, four months and three weeks or something like that is the dates I kind of had in my head. So what he said was he took so much fat from my abdomen area and shaped my waist quite nicely that really um, more liposuction there isn't needed. But what I am going to get done, and I can't believe that I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do it, is I'm actually going to get a tummy tuck. So I'm going to get a tummy tuck. I had, I have four children. Two of them were natural, two of them were C-sections. My last C-section kind of left the, the, my stomach, like where the fat part of your stomach, if it makes any sense to explain, is kind of crooked. Like my belly was crooked and I had a little bit more fat on the left side than the right side. And that skin, you know, and he took the fat out of there and I still have that skin. So uh, I am gonna do a tummy tuck, which I thought I would never, ever, ever do. But after this experience being so great, um, I'm gonna do it. So I'm thinking around September the 8th, the 8th or the 9th are the dates that I kind of have um, penciled in with him to do a tummy tuck. And then he's also gonna do a liposuction revision, but mostly focusing on my thighs and my legs, which is where I carry most of my weight. Um, I do have lipoedema in my legs, so it's really hard for me to lose weight in my legs. So I really want another good dose of liposuction in my legs. And so I feel like after, if I keep exercising and eating right, and I'm gonna, you know, I get the tummy tuck done in September and another good uh, dose of lipo on my legs, then September, I'm thinking by Christmas, I should be, you know, right where I want to be or as good as it's ever going to get. I really don't want to keep going in for more and more procedures. Um, 
because I am a big wimp. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. And I am so afraid to get the tummy tuck. I really am nervous. Um, but I've had a lot of you guys comment to me like, oh, I'm so afraid to get my boobs done or I'm so afraid of the lipo. And I'm thinking, you know, I was so afraid too. If you look back on my video, the day that I went for surgery, I was shaking. I was so, so scared. Um, but I did it and I'm so happy that I did it. I would do it all over again. Obviously, now I'm going even a step above with the tummy tuck. But, you know, I honestly think that it's a really personal choice, plastic surgery, and if it's something that you want to do and you're capable of doing and you're nervous about it, um, you know, keep watching videos. That's what I did. I watched a ton of YouTube videos. And, you know, make sure that you feel really comfortable with your surgeon and make sure that he's a good surgeon, you know, get, get, get a lot of good recommendations and things like that. And then I think that you're gonna be, gonna be really happy with the results. So that is it, I think, for my two month update. I feel like I'm not giving you guys a lot of information, um, but I think that the biggest things are is that everything is healed really well. It's been a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I'm really happy with the results. I would do it again. So if it's something you wanna do, you know, I say go for it if you're able and willing. Um, and then, like I mentioned earlier, specific questions, comment, ask me anything you want, you know, even the most, if you think it's too personal or whatever, ask me, I'll answer your questions because I know that uh, most of the people that are gonna be watching this video are people that are interested in getting these procedures done or they've just had them done and they're wondering, you know, when am I gonna feel better or whatever. So ask away, I would love to answer your questions. And the next update I will be doing will be the three month update. Like I said, I'm gonna to try to put some good before and after pictures, the best that I can come up with for you so you can see at the three month mark. And then we're gonna do this all over again in September when I get my tummy tuck and more lipo and I will definitely take you on that journey too. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.